Are you prepared to embark on a transformative journey towards a more elevated state of being? Join me as we delve into a realm of simplicity and effectiveness, discovering practical methods that will not only raise your vibration, but also leave a lasting impact on your overall well-being. Imagine this as your personal roadmap, guiding you through tangible strategies that seamlessly fit into your daily life, empowering you to cultivate positivity and abundance. In this exploration, we will bypass complex theories and fleeting solutions, focusing instead on practical wisdom that resonates with your authentic self. These approaches are not merely temporary fixes, but rather sustainable practices that can become an integral part of your lifestyle, leading to profound and enduring transformation. Together, let's unlock the secrets to a more vibrant and fulfilling existence. Gratitude holds immense power in raising your vibrational frequency. It goes beyond mere words of thanks. It's a profound recognition of the blessings present in your life. When you begin your day by acknowledging and appreciating the positives, you set a tone of positivity that reverberates throughout your day. It's akin to tuning into a frequency of abundance and goodness. This simple act of gratitude shifts your focus away from scarcity towards abundance. By expressing genuine gratitude, you cultivate a mindset that attracts more positive energy into your life. It creates a ripple effect. As you acknowledge the good, more positive experiences naturally flow your way. This doesn't mean ignoring challenges. Rather, it's about consciously choosing to amplify the positives, no matter how small they may seem. Practicing gratitude doesn't require grand gestures. It's about finding joy in the simple moments of everyday life the warmth of the sun, a kind gesture from a friend, or the aroma of your morning coffee. These seemingly insignificant moments of appreciation accumulate over time, creating a positive atmosphere that surrounds you. Gratitude isn't just a morning ritual, it's a way of life. The more you integrate it into your daily routine, the more you invite positive vibrations into your life. It's not about turning a blind eye to difficulties. Instead, it's about adopting a mindset that empowers you to navigate challenges with resilience and optimism. The impact of gratitude transcends mere thoughts. It deeply influences your emotions and, consequently, your vibrational energy. It's like switching from a low-energy radio station to one that broadcasts positivity and harmony. Through consistent practice, gratitude helps you cultivate a harmonious vibration within yourself radiating positivity and abundance into the world around you. Engaging in regular meditation and breathwork sessions offers a practical approach to realigning your vibrational energy. Let's break it down. Meditation isn't about emptying your mind or reaching a mystical state. It's simply about being present and observing your thoughts without getting caught up in them. Taking a few minutes to sit quietly, focusing on your breath or a soothing sound creates a space of mental stillness. This quietude allows your mind to settle, reducing stress and bringing clarity. Meditation isn't an escape from reality, it's a pause button that lets you step back and gain perspective. With consistent practice, you'll likely notice a subtle yet profound shift in your overall energy. It's like decluttering your mental space, creating room for a calmer and more focused state of being. Now, let's talk about breath work. It's simply paying attention to your breath consciously inhaling and exhaling. Your breath is closely tied to your emotional state. When you're stressed, your breath tends to become shallow and rapid. By intentionally slowing down and deepening your breath, you signal to your body that all is well. Both meditation and breath work share a common thread. They bring awareness to the present moment. In the midst of life's busyness, our minds often race ahead or dwell in the past. These practices gently guide your focus back to the present, offering a mental and emotional reset. Incorporating meditation and breathwork into your routine doesn't require hours of your time. Even a few minutes daily can have a significant impact. It's about consistency rather than duration. As you integrate these practices into your daily life, you'll find yourself better equipped to navigate life's challenges with a greater sense of inner peace. It's a practical and accessible way to permanently elevate your vibration by cultivating a calm and centered state of being. 
Forgiveness is a potent practice that significantly impacts the elevation of your vibrational energy. Let's delve into its meaning and significance. Forgiveness isn't about condoning or forgetting past hurtful actions. It's a deliberate choice to release the grip of negative emotions associated with those events. Holding on to resentment, anger, or blame weighs down your vibrational frequency like a heavy load. By practicing forgiveness, you unburden yourself from the emotional weight of grudges. It's a personal decision to let go, not for the benefit of the person who may have wronged you, but for your own well being. This act of self compassion enables you to reclaim your energy and redirect it towards positive experiences. Forgiveness isn't a one time event, it's a journey. It involves acknowledging your emotions, allowing yourself to feel them without judgment, and then consciously choosing to release their hold on you. It's akin to opening a window to let fresh air in, creating space for new positive energy. This practice extends beyond forgiving others. It includes forgiving yourself. We all make mistakes or harbor regrets, and holding on to self-blame obstructs your vibrational elevation. Forgiving yourself is an act of self-love, recognizing your humanity and allowing room for growth and positive transformation. The act of forgiveness is liberating. It doesn't erase the past, but it transforms your relationship with it. It's a declaration that you refuse to be bound by negative emotions, opting instead to move forward with a lighter heart. Your thoughts wield significant power over your vibrational energy. Let's delve into the importance of nurturing positive thoughts and their impact on your overall well-being. Embracing positive thinking isn't about turning a blind eye to challenges or pretending everything is flawless. It's a deliberate decision to focus on the constructive and uplifting facets of your experiences. By channeling your mental energy towards positivity, you create a mental atmosphere conducive to a higher vibrational frequency. Positive thoughts serve as a catalyst for positive emotions. When you shift your attention from dwelling on negatives to appreciating the positives, you naturally evoke feelings of joy, gratitude, and contentment. It's akin to selecting a radio station that plays upbeat music rather than one filled with negativity. Moreover, the influence of positive thinking transcends your internal realm. Your thoughts emit a vibrational frequency that interacts with the energy surrounding you. Similar to a pebble causing ripples in water, your positive thoughts emit waves of energy that can impact your surroundings. It's not about controlling external circumstances, but rather influencing them through the energy you radiate. Positive thinking doesn't entail suppressing genuine emotions, but rather choosing where to direct your focus. It involves acknowledging challenges while reframing them in a manner that emphasizes solutions and growth. This shift in perspective aligns your mental energy with a higher vibrational frequency, leading to a ripple effect in your experiences. Cultivating positive thoughts is an ongoing practice that necessitates awareness of your thought patterns and consciously redirecting them when they tend towards negativity. It's akin to exercising a muscle. The more you practice, the more natural it becomes. This practice isn't about attaining perfection, but rather making progress. It entails acknowledging that negative thoughts may arise, but choosing not to allow them to dominate your mental landscape. By consistently opting for positive thoughts, you create an inner environment conducive to a higher vibrational frequency. Engaging in spiritual practices offers a pathway to elevating your vibrational energy. Let's delve into what this entails and how it contributes to your overall well being. Spiritual practices encompass a variety of activities aimed at connecting you with a higher sense of purpose, whether through organized religions, personal beliefs, or mindfulness practices. It's not about strict adherence to a specific doctrine, but rather about creating moments of inner reflection and connection. Participating in spiritual practices often involves activities such as prayer, meditation, yoga, Tai Chi, or Reiki. These practices provide a sacred space for you to tune into your inner self beyond the distractions of everyday life. It's akin to pressing a pause button, allowing you to step back and connect with a deeper aspect of your being. Through these practices, you experience a sense of transcendence, connecting with something beyond the material world. Engaging in spiritual practice serves as a bridge between your physical and spiritual selves, fostering a sense of unity and purpose. 
Mindfulness, a key component of many spiritual practices, involves being fully present in the moment. This awareness enables you to observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment, creating a space for inner peace. It's like turning on a gentle light in the darkness, illuminating the corners of your consciousness. These spiritual practices are adaptable and flexible, catering to individual preferences and needs. Whether you find solace in silent meditation, the rhythmic movements of yoga, or the contemplative nature of prayer, the essence lies in the intention behind the practice. It's about carving out time for self-reflection and connection, nurturing a sense of peace and purpose in your life. Engaging in spiritual practices is not just about setting aside time for rituals, it's about integrating mindfulness and spiritual principles into your daily life. It's about infusing your interactions, decisions, and experiences with a sense of reverence and awareness. Whether you're practicing gratitude while savoring your morning coffee or finding moments of stillness amidst a hectic day, spiritual practices remind you of the interconnectedness of all things. Furthermore, spiritual practices provide a framework for navigating life's challenges with grace and resilience. They offer solace during times of uncertainty and serve as a source of strength during difficult moments. Through spiritual practices, you cultivate a sense of inner peace and wisdom that transcends fleeting circumstances. Moreover, engaging in spiritual practices fosters a sense of community and belonging. Whether you participate in group meditation sessions, attend religious gatherings, or join spiritual communities online, these connections provide support, encouragement, and shared wisdom along your journey. In essence, spiritual practices are a way of life, an ongoing journey of self-discovery, growth, and connection to something greater than yourself. By incorporating these practices into your daily routine, you nourish your soul, elevate your vibrational energy, and align yourself with the deeper rhythms of existence. It is said that anyone who finds the secret of God finds supreme power. This power gives a person authority to influence their reality and shape life in dynamic and purposeful ways. This concept of unlocking supreme power by understanding the secret of God implies a profound connection between spirituality and science. It suggests that tapping into this power enables individuals to not only influence their immediate reality, but also contribute to the broader fabric of existence in meaningful ways. In the realm of quantum physics, the exploration of consciousness and its interaction with the material world has led to groundbreaking insights. Researchers delve into the fundamental nature of reality, questioning the traditional boundaries between observer and observed. This inquiry has revealed that the act of observation itself can alter the outcome of experiments, challenging conventional notions of cause and effect. This emphasizes the crucial role played by the mind and imagination in shaping our individual experiences and our perception of reality. The observer effect in quantum mechanics demonstrates that the mere act of observation can directly impact the behavior of a quantum system, suggesting a deep connection between consciousness and the physical universe. This connection implies that human consciousness, through actions like observation and imagination, holds significant sway over the creation of reality at the quantum level. Quantum physics, which investigates the behaviors of subatomic particles, has attracted attention for its implications regarding the concept of God, particularly in how these tiny particles challenge traditional understandings of reality. This viewpoint underscores the intricate interplay between our thoughts, observations, and the cosmos highlighting imagination as a powerful creative force. In essence, imagination and consciousness have a more direct influence on the physical realm than previously acknowledged by conventional science. The notion that the universe operates based on probabilities and is influenced by the observer aligns with the concept that imagination, functioning as a focused form of thought or consciousness, profoundly molds the reality we perceive and experience. These concepts provide a holistic understanding of the universe, where the mind, physical reality, and what some may term as spiritual or divine forces are intricately interconnected.
Neville Goddard, in his 1969 lecture titled Imagination, profoundly states, The secret of imagining is the secret of God. Anyone who discovers it unlocks supreme power, wisdom, and delight. Everyone should aspire to uncover this secret and explore it. For whatever you learn about your own remarkable human imagination, you are learning about God as your imagination and God are one and the same. There is no other God. You envisioned yourself into this world and you will envision yourself out of it. You entered this world with a purpose and once that purpose is fulfilled, you will detach yourself from it and return to the state you were in before descending into this world. Man is entirely imagination and God is within man as we are within God. The eternal essence of man is the imagination, which is none other than God himself. This profound insight from Neville Goddard emphasizes the intrinsic connection between human imagination and the divine essence. It suggests that our imaginative faculty holds the key to accessing the highest realms of power, wisdom, and joy. According to Goddard, Understanding the workings of our imagination is tantamount to unraveling the mysteries of God himself. Furthermore, Goddard's words imply that the journey of human existence is intricately tied to the unfolding of our imagination. We are not passive spectators in this cosmic drama, but active participants, sculpting our reality with the creative power of our minds. Our imaginations are not merely tools for wishful thinking, but potent forces that shape the very fabric of our existence. In this excerpt, Blake expands on the concept of the divine presence within each individual, challenging conventional beliefs about an external deity. He acknowledges that accepting this truth may initially be met with resistance, as it contradicts ingrained religious teachings of an external God to whom one must submit. Blake refers to scripture to illustrate his point, quoting the passage that highlights the indwelling of God's spirit within each person. He emphasizes the unity of spirit, asserting that if God is spirit and dwells within us, there is no division between God's spirit and our own. This realization leads Blake to a profound understanding that the spirit of God within him is none other than his imagination. By identifying his imagination as the divine essence within him, Blake underscores the limitless creative potential inherent in every individual. He suggests that if God, manifested through the imagination, is capable of all things, then it follows that those same possibilities are accessible to each person. This revelation empowers individuals to recognize and harness the creative power of their imagination, to manifest their desires and shape their realities according to their beliefs and convictions. The scientific process of manifestation through what Neville refers to as the secret of God is intricately linked to the faculties of creativity and imagination. Imagination transcends mere daydreaming or fantasizing. It involves the deliberate and intentional use of mental imagery to conceive, shape, and manifest desired outcomes. Rather than passively accepting the circumstances dictated by external reality, Individuals are empowered to actively engage their imaginative faculties to craft and refine their desired realities. The concept of imagination as an all-creative force finds support in a range of theories and practices that integrate various disciplines, including psychology, neuroscience, and quantum physics. These theories emphasize the role of the subconscious mind in shaping beliefs, perceptions, and ultimately, reality itself. According to these perspectives, the subconscious mind acts as a powerful force that governs our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, influencing the outcomes we experience in our lives. The principles of quantum physics provide a compelling framework for understanding the relationship between consciousness and reality. Quantum mechanics suggests that at the subatomic level, the act of observation and intention can influence the behavior and manifestation of particles, highlighting the inseparable connection between consciousness and the material world. By harnessing the creative power of imagination and aligning it with the principles of quantum physics, 
individuals can tap into a profound source of creative potential to consciously shape their realities. This process involves cultivating a mindset of intentionality, clarity, and belief, as well as engaging in practices that facilitate the alignment of thoughts, emotions, and actions with desired outcomes. Ultimately, the scientific process of manifestation through imagination offers a transformative approach to creating the lives we envision, guided by the understanding that we are active participants in shaping our realities. Imagination and the subconscious mind are intricately linked, forming a dynamic interplay that shapes our creative processes and perceptions of reality. Neville's concepts regarding the power of imagination find support in the role of the subconscious mind in generating intuitive ideas and creative solutions. The subconscious mind operates beyond our conscious awareness, tirelessly processing information and experiences, even when we are not actively engaged in thinking about them. This continuous processing often leads to sudden insights and innovative solutions to problems, a phenomenon commonly referred to as intuition. These intuitive ideas emerge from the depths of the subconscious, tapping into a wealth of stored memories, experiences, and knowledge. Furthermore, the subconscious mind serves as a repository of all our past experiences, influencing our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors on a subconscious level. It shapes our perceptions of the world and ourselves, subtly guiding our decisions and actions. The imagination draws upon this vast reservoir of stored information to create new ideas by combining and reconfiguring elements from our past experiences. In the creative process, the interplay between the imagination and the subconscious is essential. The imagination acts as a conduit through which the subconscious mind expresses itself, weaving together disparate elements to form novel and innovative ideas. These ideas, born from the depths of the subconscious, manifest in the form of creative insights, inspirations, and solutions. This symbiotic relationship between the imagination and the subconscious mind not only shapes our mental experiences, but also influences our perception of reality. By harnessing the power of imagination and nurturing a deeper understanding of the subconscious mind, individuals can unlock their creative potential and shape their experiences of the world in profound and transformative ways. Utilizing imagination for manifestation involves a structured five-step creative process, as outlined below. One, persistence. This entails maintaining unwavering commitment and determination towards the desired outcome, regardless of obstacles or challenges encountered along the way. Two, living in the state. This step involves emotionally connecting with and fully immersing oneself in the state of the desired outcome. It requires viewing life from the perspective of already having achieved the desired goal, devoid of doubt and without relying solely on logical reasoning or physical senses. Three, preparation. Deciding on the specific outcome to be realized and implanting this intention into the subconscious mind through various techniques, such as hypnosis, meditation, or other forms of mind programming. Four, manifestation. As the desired outcome begins to materialize, this phase involves a combination of conscious and subconscious activities. Moments of inspiration often arise when the conscious mind is not actively seeking solutions, underscoring the pivotal role of the subconscious mind in the creative process. Five, incubation. This stage involves maintaining persistence and residing in the state of the desired outcome without doubt or dependence on physical senses. It allows time for the subconscious mind to process the information and reveal the path towards manifestation. Neville Goddard elaborates on this concept of imagination in his lecture emphasizing its transformative power in shaping reality. If I could simplify my message for them, it would be this. To immerse oneself in the desired state, rather than merely contemplating it. There's a distinction between thinking of the state and thinking from it. 
I must learn to think from it. Reason cannot embody the deity I speak of, as reason will reject it. Doubt cannot be that deity either, as doubt is equated with the devil in scripture and finds solace only in the human imagination. Doubt seeks refuge in the imagination that entertains it. If I refuse to harbor doubt in my imagination, then I am on the path to mastering the art of belief. How does one believe when reason and the senses refute it? Entering into the desired image is the most delightful experience. You can try it tonight when we enter into silence. Start with a simple exercise, mentally placing yourself elsewhere by imagining that there is here and then is now. It's not challenging if you give it a try. In Neville's lecture, he delves into the distinction between merely daydreaming about one's desire and actively embodying it to manifest it into reality. He emphasizes that belief, to the point of complete acceptance, leads to a marvelous life. Neville considers this belief as the ultimate secret that everyone should strive to understand. He equates God with the pure imaging within ourselves, underlying all faculties, including perception, but most visibly manifesting as productive fantasy in the surface mind. He illustrates the difference between a fleeting daydream and true occupancy of the desired state. Simply having a daydream without fully occupying it is a fallacy, akin to perpetual construction or a deferred daydream. True manifestation requires occupancy, fully immersing oneself in the desired state, possessing it, and making it one's own in imagination. Neville emphasizes the importance of assuming the feeling of the wish, fulfilled until it feels natural, even if initially denied by the senses. With persistence, this assumption solidifies into reality. Indeed, Neville Goddard's teachings revolve around the profound power of imagination in shaping reality. He espoused the idea that through vivid visualization and emotional engagement with desired outcomes, individuals can bring these manifestations into physical existence. His philosophy is grounded in the belief that imagination isn't merely a passive mental exercise, but an active force that constructs the fabric of reality itself. According to Goddard, consciousness is the architect of our external experiences, and by harnessing the creative potential of the mind, individuals can transform their lives in profound ways. His teachings emphasize the importance of assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, as this emotional resonance is the key to manifesting desired outcomes into tangible reality. Overall, Neville Goddard's approach underscores the transformative potential of imagination and its pivotal role in shaping our external circumstances.